So in the past six months, I've spent just over $2,000 on Facebook ads, trying to use them to drive Spotify streams for my own mediocre music. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what kind of campaigns I set up and what the results of that spend were. So keep watching and let's dig in. All right, so let's get right into it. First, I'll tell you how the campaign worked then I will show you the results that I've gotten here in Facebook ads, and then I will show you the results on the Spotify for Artists side. So first, how the campaign worked. I was running a conversion campaign. Um, I was spending $300 a month, and I was driving clicks on Facebook Reels, Facebook Stories, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories to this landing page from Hyped It. So I'd show it in Facebook, Instagram. People would see it, click here, um, and then the only option here was to click play on Spotify. And when they opened it on Spotify, uh, it was driving traffic to this playlist, John Henry, Dis John Henry Discography, which is a playlist that I made um, of all my songs. So the idea being that you can see it's gotten 1,500 followers in that time, and when they'd play the first song, then they would start just going through if they didn't pause it. So that's how the campaign was set up. So back in Ads Manager, uh, let's take a look at just the overall results. So you can see I spent just over 2,000 bucks drove 1.3 million impressions, um, and I was spending like 10 bucks a day. So if we click in and see the ad sets, um, you can see that the bulk of my, almost all of my clicks were coming from these two ad groups, ad sets. So I was targeting tier one, tier two countries, which is like um, basically not places where you would think that there would be bot farms. And I was targeting people who A, like Spotify, are interested in Spotify, and then B, are interested in what I think are maybe these similar artists. So I tried a few different kind of interest targets, but these were the ones that ended up making the most sense for me. And you can see that over the course of six, six and a half months, I was getting clicks for about 35 cents a click. I'll show you what the ads looked like here. Um, this was pretty much the same type of ad I was running on every platform. I would have some kind of pretty nondescript background video. I would have the cover art and then the song title, my artist name, stream on Spotify so they knew where they would click and then listen now. Very simple ad and that's all I was running. With the song, also the song is playing in the background. You can't hear it, but that was part of the ad as well. So there are two quick notes I want to point out about the ads. First is that I was just targeting like a really broad geographic area. I wasn't being really specific. And so you can see that Brazil and Mexico ate up the vast majority of my budget, especially Brazil. And the reason for that is that Facebook can get clicks for a lower cost in Brazil, so they're going to funnel your budget toward that so that they can optimize the results. Whereas, like, you know, down here, the United Kingdom, they're not showing it as much because it costs a bunch more per click. Um, so if you don't want to build a fan base in Mexico, Brazil, Portugal, um, you have to be specific in either making sure that you're allocating a set budget toward us uk whatever or you have to just remove these countries entirely from your targeting so just a note on that i was totally fine with getting fans and listens from brazil and mexico and portugal but if you don't want that that's an important note to consider and the second thing i want to point out to my own shame is that i was actually incredibly lazy setting up this campaign and managing this campaign so i set it up when i was filming a course on how to run facebook ads for spotify which i will link to in the description if you're interested but basically I set it up and then I just went to absolutely no effort after the first month in optimizing the campaign. I just let it run and spend money. And then midway through, I released a song in like November or December or something. And so midway through, I literally just switched out the ads and put the new song at the top of my playlist and kept running to the same interest targets, which mixed, you know, there are different thoughts on that, but it definitely, I definitely was not approaching it strategically or intentionally i was just like well i'll just keep it running because hey why not <laughs> so i'd say if you're going to run a similar campaign be more intentional than i was i definitely did not do this as intelligently as i could but with that said i'll switch over to spotify for artists and show you that it did in fact get results so the song that i was advertising in the beginning was the song called easier that i put out in 2019 and you can see if we go to like the last 12 months Here's when I started running ads for it. You can see like immediately it got a spike. And then here's about where I released the second song. And so I start stopped running ads. Remember, I'm running ads to this playlist. 
and easier is now the second song whereas my new release is now the first song so people are clicking through to easier but you can see it's still the song still got a you know more streams than it had been getting when it had just been languishing for two years with no traffic to it so i honestly don't remember what this song was at in terms of overall streams before i ran this campaign but i would i think it was around a few thousand maybe like three or four thousand and now it's up to around twenty two thousand so in my mind, that was fun. That was a lot of streams that it wouldn't otherwise have gotten. And I'll show you the playlist. So it was still getting predominantly streams from that discography playlist that I was running ads to. But importantly, it was also getting these algorithmic playlists, Radio and Your Daily Mix, um, to get a little bit of an extra bump. So, And then all these are like personal playlists that uh, Brazil, mostly Brazilian fans made to listen to the song. And so all told, um, you can see like 26% of it is coming from those Spotify algorithmic playlists. And then 33% is happening from their own playlist and library. And 22% is probably from that discography playlist. So pretty good distribution of streams overall. So the second thing I wanted to point out is that this campaign had a decent impact on all of the other songs in my catalog, even the ones I wasn't directly advertising. So for a long time, Restore was the second song in my um, in the discography playlist. And so when I was sending ads, that was like the next song to play through. And you can see over the last 12 months, like it had a similar rise and then it stayed at like a similar level, whereas before it was getting like three to zero plays a day. So basically you get some kind of overflow effect when you run ads to a playlist, you get some overflow effect in the rest of your catalog for sure. And that was cool. And then just showing you some big picture audience numbers. So this is streams. You can see this is uh we got on an editorial playlist for like a week here with one of the songs. Um, and then this is the ad. So. If you, if you throw this out, it's like not much, not much, not much. And then here's the ads. Um, decent little bump there. And then followers is even more stark. So, you know, no, not many followers, not many followers. And then, bam, this is the ad campaign right here. So you can see, like, just look at the, the slope of that curve go sharply up. Um, and then I, this is when I changed the song. So you can see, like, the campaign got noticeably worse because I was lazy. And then here, I literally just paused it. So anticipating that it will be flat for a while. So to recap, I would say ads are definitely worth it for driving streams on Spotify. Honestly, I have never really tried to promote my own music that much because I just don't think it's that good. But when I was setting up this course, I thought it would be a good case study. And you can see like it definitely had an impact. I was able to get maybe 30,000-ish streams for 2,000 um, bucks. Very engaged listens. A lot of those people became Instagram followers. Basically, it's just like a really good way to get engaged listeners versus playlisting, which is a great way to get a ton of streams, but those tend to be more passive streams. So in my course, I talk about balancing playlisting with ads or more engaged streams. Um, but the long and short of it is if you're looking to generate engaged streams, and you're willing to spend a little bit of time and money to do so, Facebook ads to Spotify are a great option. So you can check out my course in the description. I would also definitely recommend checking out Andrew Southworth's channel, Tom Dupree's channel, and John Gold, um, who runs Hyped It. All those people are great resources for this type of campaign. So let me know if you have any questions, anything that you want me to dig into in more depth, and good luck out there as you market your music.